What's going on guys? This is Joe here. Welcome to my channel and today I am going to share with you how I am going to fix this charger of my impact drill here. This impact drill is made from Japan. It is a 110 volts and I accidentally put it into 20 and the transformer of the charger has burned. I went to a electrician to fix this but he said that we are going to rewind this uh, transformer here and I am going to pay for 450 pesos and I want it to convert to, to 20 because this is 110 I thought that I could fix it myself and I did an, an experiment and I used laptop charger and replaced this here with laptop charger and try to see if this board is going to accept the voltage because this is a 14 volts there 14.4 volts with 3.9 ampere and I have experimented put a put the laptop charger here the positive and the negative of the laptop charger and it works the charger is functioning without this but using a laptop and the laptop charger is to 20 volts so that's a very big plus let's replace this with laptop charger what I did is I bought this in a local store here this is a laptop adapter ACDC this is a very good product for the price range it's only 289 you can I don't know if you can see that you can adjust the the voltage here it is a 24 volts 20 19 18 volts 16 15 volts and 12 you can adjust it using this uh, button here like that it has also this uh, lots of adapter you can put it here you're going to use we are going to use this one uh, maybe this one and you're going to put it here that's the way it works so now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, put a wire here this wire I'm going to put this wire here and then I'm going to solder it I tested this first I have, uh, let me see here, put this on, you can see the light there, it's on 19 volts, this is 14 volts, but when I dialed it in 18 and 16, it's not going to work, so I put it in 19 and test it and it works in 19 volts, now we are going to test it here. This is how I tested it. So we have to solder this part here and also put a electrical tape. I'm not an electrician and I'm not really good in soldering but we are going to try and do my best to solder this first. I think that's enough and then we're going to put this to add uh, another safety measure here there I think that's enough I'm going to add later and then we put this wire here make sure that the other side is not short circuit that's why I cut it like this the other one is short so that it's not going to short circuit let's put it back in this socket here now we are going to test this 
uh, wiring here where is the positive and the negative I have no idea where is the positive and the negative here but when we are going to put this in a power brake and then uh, stick the wire here we are going to know if it is the right connection because the green is going to light let's see there the green is blinking that's the correct wiring now we are going to solder it in here and here maybe we have to remove this first so that we can solder it test it with the battery this is uh, 110 uh, to 20 now as you can see the green light is blinking it's not really uh, that bright but it's blinking and I think it's working now we are going to put the battery let's test it there the red light is turning on I don't know if you can see that but it's turn on, turning on remove it and then you put it back there and it's going to charge this battery now we are going to put it back inside this box now it's back inside the two lights are here now it's done it's not going to move okay and it is already converted into to 20 to 20 volts we are going to charge the battery it's stuck the power brake there 19 volts green light is lighting and we are going to put the battery and the red light is now lighting on if you remove the battery it's going to be green there the green light if you put the battery the red light is going to light okay now, that's how I fix my uh, charger of this uh, CIDS dash 144W a 14 volts 14.4 volts uh, impact drill now I can use it because I'm going to uh, make a room here in my house and I need this to work so there I fixed the charger using this laptop charger so there you have it guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button down there and also subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and thank you for watching have a nice day signing out